All right, I'm freestyling today. I want to give you guys a little bit more information again on how I'm trying to lower my energy costs by using batteries and solar. As you can see here, I've got a Delta Pro and I've got about 496 watts of solar coming in right now. Um, now this is the Delta Pro itself, okay? I'll show you the solar panels in a minute, but let me go back and I want to show you my smart home panel. So currently, my Delta Pro is feeding the power into the smart home panel, powering my 10 circuits, and then going into my home. All right, so the majority of my power right now is coming from my Delta Pro with two smart batteries. I'll show you that in a little while also. But if I click on this, I get to see what power is being used in the different rooms. So the master bedroom, I'm using 164 watts. The living room, 48 watts. Now that's my internet, that's a couple of things going on there. The basement refrigerator, 102 watts. All right, treadmill, garage door. So I'm not really using much. Um, and you can see here number 10, 154 watts. So you know, it's nice to see these 10 circuits that I chose to connect to the Delta Pros and the two smart batteries. Let me show you solar real quick. We'll take a look at the solar panels. So I've got two 400 watt solar panels uh, laying on a table with some wood underneath so they can have some air circulation. Uh, you're really not supposed to lay these down with nothing underneath them. I mean, excuse me, like on the grass or, you know, you need that air circulation. So these are 400 watts each. And uh, because they're not angled properly, you know, look, I'm only going to get maybe 600 watts depending because the sun is directly above them right now and I don't have any shades, uh, shading on them. So I do have wood underneath to kind of create that circulation. All right. I did go ahead and get a longer cable. Um, and I went and used zip ties so that I don't have to have a mess with my cable. And uh, let me show you where the wire is going into the home. All right, and this is a 10 AWG thickness cable, which is totally fine for what I'm using it for. Now, I've got this corner here that I can close up when I'm not using. I can just push these in, disconnect them, and close this. So I've got my wires going in, and I'm right next to my air conditioner, so that's why it's pretty no noisy. So uh, let's take a look at uh, the Delta Pro and the two batteries downstairs. So you can see the uh, Delta Pro in the middle with the two smart batteries, and really you can double this, right? I've got almost 11 kilowatts of power here. And I can easily add another Delta Pro and two more batteries and really double the capacity, right? So as you can see here, Delta Pro has 88% uh, battery left. It's receiving 500 and something watts and sending out about four and change. Now keep in mind, not only is it receiving solar, but these batteries basically charge the Delta Pro right so adding more and more capacity so you could see minimal wattage all right but the batteries are in the 80 percent range all of all three of them and i've got that cable connected to the smart home panel which obviously is connected to my main panel so been using it for a little while doing some testing but i wanted to share that with you guys So what I'm doing right now is I'm still doing some testing. I'm finding so far when I'm charging solar, right, while I am powering the house with the smart home panel, again, 10 circuits, right? I'm getting about two days of power out of the two batteries and the Delta Pro. Now, that tells me so far that if I got two more batteries and another Delta Pro doubling, I could probably get four days and maybe more. Now, why do I say maybe more? Because it's all about that beautiful sun, right? Um, you know, I'm recharging those systems while they're powering my house. And so I'm working on lowering my electricity costs, right? So I'm going to have a 
some more information coming up at the end. If you want to learn more about the Delta Pro itself um, and some of its capabilities. And uh, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you find it helpful. So if I had to pick any of my videos, these three, I believe, would be very helpful. The first one on the top left is everything you would want to know about the Delta Pro and testing. This is very detailed, all right? But if you want to know about the Delta Pro, its capabilities, the options you have, that's really good. The video in the middle is a detailed comparison of the Delta power stations, right? These solar generators. And again, really good information if you just want to know the differences between all of the Deltas. Because look, you might not be able to afford a Delta Pro. You might want to go with a Delta Max or a Delta or a Delta Mini. So really good there. And the last one, if you want to learn about solar, I did a video on you know how long I could power a refrigerator using the Delta Mini and solar. But I also explained solar. So I'm going to have these come up in a moment. I'll have links in the upper right hand corner for each of them. And I'll also place this in the description. All right. I hope you watch them. I hope you like it. I hope they help you and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right, here's the Delta Pro video. I'm going to put a link in the upper right hand corner. Once that pops up, go ahead and click it. If you miss it, don't worry. There's going to be a link in the description. But if you want to check that out, click that link. All right, this is the Delta comparison. This will tell you which of these machines you might want that best match your needs. The link is in the upper right hand corner. Click on that. Again, if you miss it, don't worry. I'll put the link in the description. And here is how you can learn about solar and see what the Delta Mini can do with solar powering my refrigerator. This was a detailed test, but it will definitely teach you some basics as well. Click the link in the upper right hand corner and thank you so much. Have a great day. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.